In the year 1945, Bishop Edwin F. Lee of the United Methodist Church envisioned a Christian college in Manila. On October 6, 1946, laymen of the Evangelical Association of the Philippines agreed to the establishment of the college. Their initial board of directors was composed of attorney Juan Nabong Sr., Dr. Mateo Oxena, Dr. Emilio Javier, Dr. Mauro Barotti, and Mr. Gerardo Armonio. On January 11, 1947, the Articles of Incorporation was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The original name of the institution was Manila Union University, but this was later changed to Philippine Christian College. Dr. Roxy Lefferge, an American missionary, was the first executive dean. Dr. Emilio Javier, from 1952 to 1958, an outstanding layman of the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, was elected as the first president. Under his leadership, the institution expanded the economical efforts in education. The Union High School of Manila and Union Elementary School founded by the Presbyterian Church in 1919 and 1946 respectively became part of PCC in 1947. The college added a degree course in nursing when the Mary Johnson School of Nursing, founded by the Methodist Church in 1907, affiliated with PCC in 1953. Dr. Juan Nabong Sr. from 1958 to 1969, a Methodist layman, was the second president. Under his administration, a four-story concrete building was constructed in 1960 beside a UTS building on Taft Avenue. A year later, a two-story building for the elementary school was constructed in Vasquez Street, Malare. The Ellenwood College of Christian Education was merging with the Philippine Christian College in 1968 and its curricular program integrated with the programs of the College of Education. Dr. Lino Q. Arquiza, 1969-1988, a UCCP educator, was the third president, and under him, the growth and expansion of PCC was steady and impressive. In 1976, PCC acquired its university status and Philippine Christian University. A highlight of the efforts at corporation came during Dr. Arquiza's term when the Union Theological Seminary and PCU merged in 1978. With the merger, the Philippine Christian Center for Learning or PCCL was born. With this move, Philippine Christian University and Union Theological Seminary establish an economical relationship that is more expansive and more coordinated. Institutional cooperation extended to non-Protestant schools when in 1972, PCU and DLSU joined hands in a research sharing program. This move ushered in the formative of five school inter-institutional consortium or IIC, and in 1975, composed of De La Salle University, St. Scholastica's College, St. Paul's College of Manila, Philippine Normal College, and Philippine Christian University. The consortium enjoys the full support of the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia. With the untimely demise of Dr. Arquiza, PCU had a succession of two able and dedicated officers in charge in the persons of Justice Crisolito Pascual in the year of 1988 and in Betty I. Molita, year 1989. In 1990, the Board of Trustees elected Dr. Carlito Espuno from 1990 to 2000, a prominent Methodist lay leader as the fourth president of the university. The new president of the university provided a new vision and a creative and dynamic leadership for the university. P. 
PCU became an active participant in the globalization of education. Under his leadership, the university aggressively pursued a program expansion through the off-campus program and the overseas institutional linkages. Dr. Oscar S. Juarez, a Princeton University-educated UCCP pastor, became the fifth president of PCU. November 2008 appointed a management committee comprised of Attorney Felix D. Caro Jr., retired Justice Wenceslao Ayognir, and Dr. Quintin S. Doromal. In December of 2013, election of Attorney Felix D. Caro Jr. as the sixth president of the university and the reconstitution of the Board of Trustees. And in 2014 to present, the PCU Board of Trustees elected Dr. Junifen F. Gawon, a United Methodist layman, as the seventh president of the university. May of 2017, the Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, granted autonomous status to PCU. And today, PCU had grown into an institution responsive to national needs through its expanded and relevant curricular offerings.